All right. So we have studied what an event is. It's a subset E of a sample space S. That's it. It's a subset of a sample space. Taking an example, if we toss two coins, this is the sample space that we get. We can get two heads. The first coin is heads, the second coin is heads, or both of them is tails. All right. And that's how you write it in the set notation. S is the sample space. And in this bracket, you have these four sample points. And for this event E, which is exactly one head, this is what we have. We have these two sample points. Uh, we can have the first coin as heads or we, we can have the second coin as heads. This is how we get exactly one head. And this is how you write it in the set notation. E is the event and in the bracket you have these two sample points. What you can see is that this is a subset of this. Your event E is a subset of your sample space. All right, how do we know whether an event has occurred or not? In this video, that's what we are going to find out. So let's say this is your event E and this is your outcome W. This is what you get. You toss two coins and you get the first one as heads and the second one as tails. Has this event E occurred? Well, yes, the event E has occurred. And how do we know that? Well, the first coin as heads and the second coin as tails, this is something that you can see here as well. Do you notice what's going on? Uh, e was a subset of S and here your outcome W is a subset of your event E. It's a very formal way of saying that, look, what we have here is also here as well. Let me write it neatly. The formal definition of occurrence of an event is this. Let's read it out. The event E of a sample space S is said to have occurred if the outcome W of the experiment is such that W is a subset of E. That's it. When your outcome is a subset of your event, that's when you know that the event has occurred. And in math, the way you write it is like this. W is a subset of E, or you can say that W belongs to E. This sign, this sign is for belongs to. And whenever your outcome does not belong to the event E, that's when you say that the event has not occurred. This is the sign for does not belong to. All right, let's do a quick practice. This is your sample space. You have tossed two coins. And this is what you get as an outcome when you toss two coins. You get the first coin as heads and the second coin as tails. I'm going to write four events here. You tell me whether these events have occurred or not. This is your first event, exactly one head. The second one is exactly two heads. The third one is at most one head. And the fourth one is at least two tails. Pause the video, think about it. When you have the first coin as heads and the second coin as tails, which of these events have occurred and which of them have not occurred? All right. So how do you get exactly one head? That's how you get exactly one heads. Either the first one is heads or the second one is heads. How do you get exactly two heads? There's only one way. How do you get at most one head? So know that at most means you can have a maximum number of one heads. So either you can have no heads or you can have one heads. And how do you get at least two tails? Well, that's only one way you can have, you have to have both of them as tails. Now it's a matter of observation. Uh, figure out where do you see this outcome W? Well, you see it, you see it here in the first event and you see it here in the third event. These are the two cases where you see this outcome W. Formally, you can say that W is a subset of the event E1 and the event E3. So which of these events have occurred? The first one has occurred, the third one has occurred, the second one is not, and the fourth one is not occurred. In math, that's how you write it. W belongs to E1, does not belong to E2, belongs to E3, and does not belong to E4. This is how you check whether an event has occurred or not. You basically look at the outcome, you see whether that outcome is a subset of that event or not. If it is a subset, that's when you say that the event has occurred. If it is not a subset, you can say that the event has not occurred.